right off the bat, I want to address the elephant in the room, which is that I am not in my current apartment. I don't know how to explain it. This video is pre-filmed. So at the time I'm filming this, I have not moved yet, but hopefully this is fun for you guys to watch. It's gonna be like a little throwback. But today we're doing a productive vlog. I made some coffee this morning. I was just drinking it while I was getting ready. Today has been kind of a weird day for me mentally. This morning, I really wanted to just ditch all my plans today and sit around and do nothing because I was just feeling weird. I feel like I woke up on the wrong side of the bed, but I knew I would feel better if I got up and did something with my day because if I just put everything off until tomorrow or the next day, I would just get even more stressed out. So I'm gonna try to be productive today, but also go easy on myself at the same time because I don't want to feel burnt out. The first thing on my list today is to go grocery shopping. So let's go. Okay, I just got to the store. I'm gonna run in, grab a few things. I don't need very much. And then after there is this guy that I've seen a couple times on TikTok that sells jewelry and perfumes outside of the store. And I just saw him while I was driving up. So I've been wanting to go check out his stuff. So after we go shopping, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I got a couple things from the guy. I think his name is Levert. Here's his card. I didn't smell any of his perfumes because I was just like holding stuff and was in a bit of a rush, but I was super interested in his jewelry. And I have heard that his perfumes smell really, really good. So first I got something for myself. It's this really cool necklace. You guys know that I've been really into like bigger jewelry. And I just thought that this was so cool. It's a heart with this like silver detail on it. And then I got something for my friend for her birthday. By the time this video is out, her birthday will have already passed so I can show this to you guys but it's this little crystal necklace I don't know exactly what it is actually but I feel like she's gonna love this I feel like this is right up her alley she loves jewelry like this so I'm super excited to give this to her now let's do a Trader Joe's haul it's probably the most random boring haul but oh well I got two of these cheese pizzas these are so good they taste like they're from like an Italian restaurant or something I just like having those on hand for when I don't feel like making anything got some gluten-free tortilla chips got some strawberries a bell pepper these cheese sticks i'm obsessed with these i know people are gonna think i'm weird for that but they're very good i also got some shredded cheese some lettuce some salsa we have this one but i think it's about to expire so i got another one to be safe an avocado and some bananas these are very green right now but we already have some so i figured it would be good to get some green ones so that they're ripe by the time we want to eat them but that is my haul okay so i want to take a second to talk to you guys about today's sponsor which is msi so if you didn't know they have these really cool laptops that are a part of their modern series. So here is what they look like. This is the beige pink color. It's so cute. This is my favorite one. Now we have urban silver, nice and sleek, and then star blue. This blue is so pretty. And finally, we have classic black. So this series is designed for students or maybe recent graduates who need a great laptop but don't want to burn a hole in their pocket. These laptops come with the latest generation Intel processor and Iris XE graphics. They're also super thin and lightweight, so it's super easy to carry around on the go. They're great for taking to coffee shops to do some work, maybe going to the library to study, taking a class, etc. You guys know I love working in coffee shops. It makes me feel so productive. These are just so perfect for that. Also, can we talk about how this laptop is literally pink? Like, are you kidding me? My younger self would be so excited that I have this right now. Also, it has so many ports on the side, which is so convenient. You can charge your phone, you can use headphones, you can plug it into an external monitor. I love that it has all these options. Overall, it's a great laptop. I highly recommend. So go check out MSI's Modern series. I will have the link in my description. So you guys know I want to take it easy today. You can be productive without doing something every second. I think rest is productive. I think doing things that make you happy are productive. So what we're going to do today is go visit my grandma. I'm just going to pack a bag to go see her. I am of course going to bring my laptop. It's right in there and it's still so light. And then I'm also going to throw in this package because I'm going to stop by the post office on the way to my grandma's. I'm trading some sunny angels with this girl. So I'm sending her a couple and I'm so excited to get mine in the mail. She's sending me the polar bear and then the cherry blossom peacock. They're just so cute. And then I think I'm gonna throw in my wallet, sunglasses, keys, gum, lip gloss, obviously. And I think that's it. So let's head to my grandma's.
the night by reading my book. I'm reading Atomic Habits by James Clear. I try to stay consistent and read one chapter every night. So this night I was on 14. I like to go through and highlight all the information that I find useful so I can look back on it later. And then I finished the chapter and went to bed. Okay, it's the next morning. Let's get ready for Pilates. I feel like I've done my little getting ready for Pilates routine so many times on my channel, so you guys probably know exactly what I'm doing. Today, my roommate and I are actually in the same class. We go to the same studio, but we just never end up in the same class just because of our schedules and stuff. But today we did, so that should be fun. I have been loving the Say blush recently because it's super glowy. I just did a tiny bit because I feel like I need some color added back into my face. Okay, now I'm just curling my eyelashes. Such a small thing, but it always makes me feel so much more confident. I'm gonna put on some lip balm. I love this stuff because it's just so like minty and fresh and it feels so nice. Okay, now let's pick out an outfit. Okay, so I'm going with this set from Set Active. This is the top. You guys know I always like to throw t-shirts over my workout sets because I just feel a little bit more comfortable that way. So I'm just wearing this brandy t-shirt. Okay, outfit is on. Now we're gonna do my hair. Same as usual, I'm just doing a low pony, except this time I'm not adding any product because I want my hair to stay as clean as it can. And I'm just gonna pray that I don't sweat. I usually don't after Pilates because it's not like a super high intensity thing and I have to take some pictures later that will require me to get ready and have my hair down and stuff. And my hair is clean right now. Usually the timing works out so that I have Pilates on a day where my hair is dirty and I can just put my product in it, slick it back, and then wash it when I get home. But my schedule is off right now and my hair is clean. I'm gonna try not to get it too dirty so that I can hopefully salvage it later. There's a bump in the back, but do I care enough to fix it? Unfortunately, no. I also love throwing on earrings for Pilates, just like really tiny ones because it always makes me feel more put together. All right, we're all ready. Okay, we are back from Pilates. Thankfully, I did not sweat. I can still do my hair for pictures later and then just like shower and wash it after that. But I came home to a package. These are the Sunny Angels that I traded with that girl. And the package is so cute. There's like little stickers on it. It came so fast. So I hope she gets hers fast too. Oh my gosh. Look how cute she made it. Are you kidding me? What? Oh my God. Okay, here's the Sunny Angels. <gasps> she did not have to do this. There's little stickers in here. There's a Sunny Angel sticker and then little pins. Oh my gosh, I think these are from Brandy because I actually have the sticker version of these. That is crazy because I was actually just wanting some new pins because I ordered a new purse yesterday when I was at my grandma's. Oh my God, there's a bookmark. What? That is so nice of her. Like she did not have to do all of this. She wrote a little note too. Look at this paper. Isn't that so cute? This was just so sweet. Oh my gosh. And I haven't even gotten to opening the actual Sunny Angels. Wow, that was like so nice of her. Destiny, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I cannot believe this. Oh my God. That's so cool that she kept the boxes because when I open them, I tear them up. Like I cannot keep them all nice like this. This is the white bear. Oh my God. It's so cute. You guys, I've realized why people buy so many Sunny Angels because I never understood that before like I got into them and I realized that it's because they're blind boxes. So if you buy one and you don't get the one you want, you just want to keep buying more. But like the odds that you're going to get the exact one that you want are not like the highest. So then you end up with like 20. So that's why I've been loving trading recently. Oh my God. This is so cute. It's the little cherry blossom peacock. This is actually adorable. This is right up my alley. If you didn't know, I love the color combo pink and green. That was what my room was when I was little. There were two pink walls and two green walls. But yeah, so I understand why people collect them and just have so many of them. I keep them lined up on this windowsill, which you can't really see because it's washed out right now. But then I keep my favorite ones kind of in just like cute little places around my room. Like I have the bunny over here, the cat over here, and then my Dalmatian over here here and then the rest are on my bookshelf. Why did I say bookshelf? I meant windowsill. Anyways, I'm gonna end this clip because this is probably so boring for those of you who don't care about Sunny Angels. I think they're adorable, but I'm gonna go eat lunch and I will see you guys later.
It's a little bit later. It is now 6.30. The pictures turned out really cute. I'm really happy with them. I just ate dinner. I was gonna cook, but then I just was not feeling it. And so I heated up some mac and cheese and I ate that and I sat on the couch and I watched YouTube and then scrolled on my phone and rotted for a good half an hour. I feel like I'm just having an off day today. I'm filming this in late May. And at this time I just got out of school and I'm moving in exactly one month. And I'm in this weird phase where I'm like adjusting to this new schedule because I can devote like all my time to YouTube now basically, which is super nice. But the only downside is that there's no structure. I almost miss having like my classes twice a week because I would go to school. It was very clear the days where I was getting stuff done and the days that were like rest days. And now it's just all kind of blending together and it just feels weird. Like today I feel really lazy and not totally 100% mentally, but I know I still need to like get some stuff done in terms of like brand deals and stuff like that. So I'm just feeling weird and that's all it is. I don't want it to come across as if I'm complaining because I'm definitely not. I'm a person who just really benefits, I think, from having structure to my days. And right now I really just don't and it's just weird. But anyways, one thing that I did tonight, even though I was feeling lazy about dinner, I told myself, okay, if you're gonna have this mac and cheese and not cook, you at least have to cut up the pepper that you bought and then put it in a little Tupperware so you can use it tomorrow. So I did that. So now I don't have to cut it tomorrow, which is great. I also just scheduled a therapy appointment, which is good. And now I am actually gonna try to get some work done. I wanna sit and plan out some stuff for YouTube, just kind of like my schedule for the next few days and what I need to get done. I'm gonna edit a bit tonight. And then I'm also going to read some more of Atomic Habits. But then other than that, I'm just gonna hang out tonight. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. I just got ready because I'm about to go see a friend. We are gonna go to Little Tokyo. And we're gonna look for some more sunny angels. But I got a PR package from Fenty. So we are gonna try it out. The only thing is some of these shades are probably a little out of my comfort zone and they're just a little bit darker than I would normally wear. But I still am interested in trying it out. Oh gosh, I'm scared I'm not gonna want this on my entire lip because that seems super pigmented. So I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. Okay, that's a really pretty color actually. Okay, I'm all done. I'm gonna leave in like 10 minutes. braids are looking crazy right now because my layers just never want to stay in them but I had so much fun hanging out with Olivia if you didn't know she's also a youtuber and I feel like she's one of the first people that I've gotten to like talk to about YouTube stuff that like really gets it because she does the same thing I just went on a little cleaning frenzy right now because I have realized that I've been feeling so off mentally and I think I'm starting to figure out that I feel burnt out and I feel like partially it's because my room has just consistently been messy since I have boxes over here since I'm moving and I don't know I've just had like stuff laying around so I went around and like cleaned up all the random like clutter that I had I started a load of laundry which I've been putting off so I'm proud of myself for doing that when you get in these mindsets the smallest things seem so hard and like cleaning my room doing my laundry was just not coming easily to me and so I was like you know what you need to just bite the bullet and do it you will feel so much better afterwards so what I'm gonna do right now is clean I'm gonna wipe down all the surfaces do the floors, do some cleaning in the kitchen. And then after this load of laundry is done, I'm gonna wash all of my bedding. So I'm just gonna have a fresh start. I did as much decluttering as I could. And yeah, after that, I feel like I'm just gonna feel so much better. from cleaning. I feel like whenever I clean, I am like so motivated. I tell myself I'm gonna do so much more than I actually do. And then I just get tired like halfway through. But I got all of the actual cleaning done that I wanted to do except for the floors. So we're gonna do the floors when I get back. We're just taking a break right now. I'm very hungry. I actually wanted to cook tonight, but cleaning made me so tired and so hungry. So we're gonna go to Taco Bell. I wanna go through a drive-through. I'm not getting out of the car. I'm wearing socks and sandals right now. And I'm gonna treat myself to a 
little Taco Bell because you know what? I've had a good day. I'm proud of myself today. Like I said, I've been starting to feel burnt out. And today I was like, you know what? We're gonna do something about it. We're going to clean our entire space. I hung out with a friend that made me happy. I feel like I've just been really productive today in terms of like doing things that I know are good for my mental health. I'm very excited to be getting Taco Bell right now. And then for the rest of the day, I'm probably just gonna edit besides like finishing up my laundry and doing the floors and stuff. So I am pulling myself out of this rut that I'm in. And I don't know, I always feel like I have to explain myself because I feel like some people are just gonna be like, girl, you're not really doing anything groundbreaking or challenging. You're kind of just doing the basic things that humans do, I don't know. But when you're in this mindset, those things feel so hard. Like I said, I feel like I've repeated myself so many times in this video, but let's go to talk about. 